Nifty continues to be down around 180 points, but from the broader market, some of these financial names are actually moving higher. So pull up a max financial, that one has seen a gain of around 4%, Manapuram up around 3%. I think there was some large trade on South Indian Bank because that one is also moving higher, up around 3%. And ICIC Pro, a stock that we have been pointing out, continues to gain up around 4-5% as we speak. But now let's go across to Ashwini Gujral of AshwiniGujral.com to tell us how does the chart and the picture from the technical perspective looks like. Ashwini Gujral. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, for the last many days now, we have been stuck in this range. Today as well, it has been a fairly range-bound day of trade. Where do you see or, or when do you see the markets actually breaking out of this range? What is the market really waiting for? Well, you know, this is a range that stuck on for about four to five months. Hmm. And uh, now that Bank Nifty is almost at uh, fresh highs, uh, chances are uh, Nifty will also uh, break out at some point. Today what's interesting is because mid-caps are outperforming, the PSU mid-cap banks, they are also outperforming and they are actually higher. So uh, what I am trying to do is, uh, I am trying to buy into the corporate lenders because they are seeing traction uh, even after half a percent, one percent type declines. So if right now you get into these corporate lenders, even ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, which are lower by 1 to 2 percent, chances are as and when Bank Nifty restarts uh, its rally, uh, these are the stocks which are going to lead. So hardly 100 points now left on the uh, Nifty uh, as well as the Bank Nifty. So the idea should be to accumulate on declines and whenever these corporate lenders restart their rally, my sense is you will get past this uh, 10,950 zone. So having said that, A, uh, I'm still long on Bank Nifty and uh, B, individual stocks, Axis Bank is down 2%. So that's a buy with a stop of 650, target of 675. ICICI Bank is a buy with a stop of 373, target of 390. And SBI is a buy with a stop of 300, target of 315. These stocks may be lower today, but they are in such strong trends that often even after one day, uh, day's worth of correction, these stocks tend to bounce back. So th these are not really half an hour type calls. Uh, you co may have to hold them for a couple of days. But uh, which one looks the best to you? How do the these? ICICI Bank ICICI. and Axis Bank, they look the best of the lot. SBI is also maintaining 300. So PSU banks, overall, all kinds of corporate lenders are moving up. The weaker stocks are actually, you know, Indescent and uh, Kotak, etc. ICICI Pro Ashwini uh, is, is making a bit of a move yesterday and today. Uh, is it uh, anything, uh, what's going on and uh, what levels would you peg here? See, all of these insurance stocks have been going down. Uh, while you know the market was rising, mm. now it appears that at lower levels there is uh, buying visible and possibly 385, 390, even SBI uh, insurance is looking good. Okay, Ashwini, thank you so much for joining us with that perspective. But any disclosures you want to leave us with? Uh, we have bank nifty long positions. Okay, long positions on bank nifty, and that is what Ashwini is advising as well.